everyone at Children at Play, it's Miss Jenna again, and it's time for another literacy lesson. And today, I thought we could do our literacy lesson outside. It's a beautiful sunny day, so I thought it would be nice to read our story outside. So today, our story is going to be about this. Who is this? This is a rubber duck. And our story is about 10 little rubber ducks. So the name of our story is 10 Little Rubber Ducks. And when you look at the front of the book, what do you see? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rubber ducks. And when I turn the book around, I see the back of the book. And on the back of the book, I see a big yellow sun and the ocean. And can you help me? Do you remember, what does the author do? The author writes the book. And the name of this author is Eric Carle. So Eric Carle writes the book. And in this story, we're going to see how the 10 rubber ducks go on an adventure. I wonder who they're going to see and where they're going to go. Get your listening ears ready, everyone. It's time to read 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carle. Chuckity, chuckity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted, bills red and eyes blue. The ducks have red mouths and blue eyes. Then they are packed ten to a box. And off they go. Look, all the ducks are in the boxes and they are put in the truck. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. Now all of the boxes are put onto a ship. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries. Where is the boat? The boat is on top of the water. Suddenly a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and ten little rubber ducks fall out. Ten rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. Where are the ducks? Oh no, they fell into the water. After some time, the storm calms down. The ten little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. The ten little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. I wonder where the ducks will go. The first rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. 
An octopus blinks at it. Eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. A ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting, it is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky. What time of day is it now? It's night time. The sky is getting dark. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. The end. Thanks for listening to the 10 Little Rubber Ducks. See you next time, everyone.